Fellas, 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 what is going on today, fellas, bruh? First off, I need a cut, man. My stuff is looking disgusting, bro. Ew, bro, ew. Oh my gosh, bro, look at this. Oh my gosh. Man, I need to cut a sap. I'm gonna get one soon. But anyways, today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best sapphires for you guys to pick up in the token market. So I made an emeralds video, and the reason why I made that video was because I just wanted to do each tier. I knew a lot of you guys were past the emeralds. Some of you did tell me you were on the sapphire board, you know, on the token market. So I guess this might be more of a more of use for you guys, you know, um, as opposed to the emerald one. Next up, we're going to do ruby. We're going to do amethyst. Um, the thing is with diamond, you have to kind of get all 10 in order to get to the pink diamond. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to do that because or maybe I will, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Right. But we're going to focus on sapphire for today. So we're going to be talking about the best sapphires for you to pick up from the token market. So let's start off and let's see who I actually have already. So we're going to go to rewards and sapphire rewards. I got Derek Favors, Ricky Rubio. Oh, wait, hold on. he's not a token. Oh, no, he is a token reward. Uh, we got Derek Favors, Ricky Rubio, Avery Johnson, Drew Gooden, Spud Webb, Deshaun Stevenson, Kendall Gill, Bonzi Wells, Brian Russell, Luke Walton, and Ennis Cantor. So I have, well, I just need four more, which are Vernon Maxwell, Scott Pollard, Ryan Hollins, and Tom Sanders. So my first pickup when I was going through these Sapphires, and this is not going to be in any particular order. I believe my first pickup may have been Deshaun Stevenson or Brian Russell. So let me take a look at Deshaun Stevenson. I do think this is the best Sapphire for you to go with. Because if you take a look at he, he has an 84 three-point shot. So he can shoot the three ball. Um, his driving lip isn't crazy. Uh, but his, uh, let me see. His defense is, his perimeter defense is 84. So he's, uh, he's going to be a good defender. And then on top of that, he's going to be a good shooter. Or a decent shooter. And as you can see, he has silver clamps there. So... You know that's really going for him he's got gold interceptor as well and now you can you can see the uh the upgradable badges with this new patch that came out so these are the, the badges that he could potentially get the green machine could be good hot zone hunter could be good um not really too worried about those other ones ice and veins is okay but yeah this is a certainly a solid card i would definitely pick up deshaun stevenson okay next up brian russell right um, the reason I picked up Brian Russell, same thing, 84 three-point shot. He has an 80 mid-range, is only one higher than Deshaun. And then his perimeter defense is 80, so it's not as high as Deshaun. Let's take a look at his badges, though. He does have silver clamps as well. He does have green machine, like, but and Sean didn't. And uh, the thing with Brian Russell is you can upgrade him to get more badges. It seems like an even better badge, such as volume shooter, Tyler shooter, stop and go space creator. I mean, those are good badges, right? And then we got downhill. Uh, bailout intimidator interceptor you know those are good badges he already does have ice and veins he does he already does have hot zone hunter and green machine so he'll be the better shooter Deshaun Stevenson will be the better defender so you know whoever you want really on your team you know uh, in terms of defense or shooting that's who you should go with okay next up I'm gonna go with Kendall Gill Kendall Gill is a solid card because well he doesn't have too bad of a three ball 77 I mean it's not great obviously he has an 84 mid-range he does have a 90 driving dunk, and that's going to be a reason why you want to pick this card up. And his defense isn't too bad. It's 78, but he does have the badges, as you can see. He's got pickpocket, corner specialist, catch and shoot, peg dodger, gold. He does have steady shooter, which is unfortunate, but he does have silver clamps, clutch shooter. Uh, he has silver dead eye, and then he has bronze range extender, which is actually kind of uh, interesting there to know. And then if we look at his potential badges, he's got quick first step, which obviously you'd have to throw it on him. Now, I don't see any reason for you guys to even throw badges on these sapphires really i would be saving that for the like the good pink diamonds and all that that you guys will eventually get but if you want to go ahead and do that here early game i mean by all means you know, go ahead whatever floats your boat but i wouldn't recommend it but just to show you you know potentially what, what he can get i mean i feel like some people would want to know so there you go now next up we're going to talk about ennis Cantor, and ennis Cantor is actually a solid player man he's got decent post game like 86 as you can see um, his mid range is 72, nothing crazy, but his rebounding is where he's going to thrive, 89 and 88. That's really the purpose of you picking up this card if you're struggling on the rebounding and you need somebody good. He's got gold box, he's got putback boss, moving truck, rebound chaser, worm, back down punisher, on uh, brick wall, pick and roller, on gold. And then these silver badges, I mean, nothing crazy here. 
But uh, let me see what his potential badges are. He could get deep hooks. I don't think any of these badges are anything crazy. Maybe postman technician is nice. But uh, besides that, I don't think he has anything too crazy. Really, I would just be picking up this card for the rebounding purposes of it. And that's really it. Another decent card for you guys to pick up, I would say, would be Bonzi Wells. Now, taking a look here at Bonzi Wells. Um, he has a decent three ball, but it's nothing crazy. Um, and then he has 84 perimeter defense. Really, you want to pick him up for that. And then what was his driving dunk? 85. So that's pretty good too, right? And then if we look at his badges, he doesn't pick Dodger Interceptor. He's got some defensive badges here. He's got rebound chaser as well. What was his rebounding attribute? Did I miss that? Okay, it's not nothing crazy, but I mean, he's got rebound chaser. I mean, if you like that. Whoa, hold up. This is weird. So they have a tab for badges and then they have a tab for upgradable badges. But it shows the same thing. Only one of them shows the upgradable badges and the other one doesn't. Why wouldn't they just put it on the badges? I didn't see that when I was going through the badges on the other players. That's kind of weird. I was like, wait, where's the black badges that are the empty spaces, right? But I mean, I guess it's here. You got to go to upgradable. I don't know. I don't see why would they have two different tabs for that? They should just make it one tab right like what that doesn't make any sense but anyways back to what we were talking about the only thing is about this card i mean he has decent defensive badges he does have intimidator on bronze but he doesn't have clamps but he could if if you had clamps you wanted to apply it to him you could give him clamps box um defensive leader heart crusher so he could become really 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 good defensively but you'd have to give him a couple upgrades in order to do so but he does have the uh, the Intimidator there, so that I guess he has that going for him. It's only on Bronze, but I'm sure he can upgrade that as well. Now, if you're looking for a decent point guard, a guy to pick up would be probably Ricky Rubio. And for the simple fact that he has Dimer on Gold, he has um, in Floor General. That's really what you want out of Ricky Rubio. I mean, these other badges I don't care about. If you want somebody who's going to facilitate your offense, you can go with Ricky Rubio. And on top of that, guys, I did want to show you the challenges here. So if I go to Sapphire Reward Challenges all the way at the bottom, I think I, oh, I'm, I'm almost done. I need two more. But if I if I were to show you this, obviously you're going to need Derek Favors for, for dunks, 25 dunks. I completed that. And then you're going to need uh, assists with Ricky Rubio, 65. So that's why I would pick him up. You're going to need steals with Spud Webb. Um, so if you want to get these challenges done, you got to pick him up. And then you're going to need uh, Ryan Hollins for blocks. And then you're, you'll need... Uh, Deshaun Stevenson for free throws. So those guys, I would definitely pick up those guys for sure. Just so you can get some of these challenges done. I mean, you're going to get Deshaun anyways because he's good. And if you want to, if you wanted to get Ricky Rubio, you could. But if it weren't for the challenges for Spud Webb and Derek Favors, I don't think I would have picked them up. Maybe Derek Favors, but definitely not Spud Webb. Derek Favors is a big man, so it's a little bit different. But Spud Webb is just too small for me to ever use. So I wouldn't have really picked him up regardless. But it's whatever guys so those are really are my best picks i mean the the guys well i almost played a limited game no sir the guys that i left over were scott pollard ryan hollis tom sanders and vernon maxwell i mean tom sanders i think he's a decent defender he no he, he's a really good interior defender 95 interior but he is kind of undersized 6'6 six, six. so i was like i don't know about that man i don't know if i'm trying to get that but he does post move lockdown um, he does have Clint Silver, Intimidator Silver, Interceptor, Defensive Leader, Pick Dodger, Rim Protect. He could be, uh, I'm, I might have slept on this card, bro. I might have slept on this card. Tom Sanders was always a good defender in, in, in these games. And I actually liked him last year. I don't know. He's only 6'6", but I mean, he could, I guess he could play the small forward. But his perimeter defense isn't too high. So that's why I was like, I don't know about this guy, man, because it's only 61. So his interior defense is great, though. But yeah, that, that, those are the guys that I picked up. I might have to get Ryan Hollins for those blocks, but I don't even know if I'm going to do that. But yeah, so that's that's my picks. Let me know what you guys think, man. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. And I'm dropping more content all throughout the year. Now, I might be switching it up a little bit in terms of the kind of content I'm making because I don't know about this game, bro. I want to make a little bit different kind of content, but I'm still going to be dropping 2K videos. So Hope you guys stick around for that, man. And uh, yeah, with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.